beautiful people welcome back to my channel once again welcome back thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber if you are new here please do subscribe like comment and share so you'll be able to get more updates on this platform guys the news i'm about to share now is a very very sad one i'm so heartbroken i'm so sad right now if you're on social media by now you should be seeing you should be seeing a viral trend on justice for what justice for tina these young girls were killed these young girls with promising futures were killed please stay tuned and let's check what really happened justice for what if you scroll to any social media platform today you will see these three words a few days ago it was justice for tina who is uwa vera uwa mozuna was an 100 level student of microbiology at the university of Benin. a few days ago she was reading inside the Redeem christian church of god parish in edo states not quite far from her home when she was raped and killed guys she was raped and killed these evil people they only rape her they killed her also according to reports her attacker smashed her head with a fire extinguisher and left her unconscious around the Koba Hill area of the city although she was rushed to the, to the intensive care unit of the hospital Uwa did not survive it news of her death has generated outrage with a lot of people calling for justice for Uwa but Uwa's case is not the first known case of the murder of a young woman in recent time. Just a few days ago, Justice for Tina was trending on social media. According to news reports, two policemen, Otobo and Oguntoba Olamigoki, allegedly shot the teenager, Tina Ezekwe, dead around the beggar area of the state. The death of both women has raised an alarm especially with women in Nigeria who are constantly faced with discrimination and violence on a daily basis. What makes it worse is that cases like this are reported, yet no real justice is done. In 2015, UNICEF reported that one out of four girls had experienced sexual violence before the age of 18. As at the time of reporting this case, there have been no official statement by the spokesperson for the police in Edo State, neither has the church released any statement. We do hope that there will be justice for Uwa and justice for Tina. Guys, please, let us make this go viral. There, should, there must be justice for Uwa and justice for Tina. And I really hope that our government will do something about it so we all can be saved. We have sisters, we have children, we have God. I really hope that we all will be saved in this country. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.